Have you been here before? If this house was a crime scene and you were a suspect, you'd say no. But what if scientists could look inside your brain and work out that you'd been to this house after all? Don't worry, they can't, yet. But this is one possible future use of a technique called brain decoding. We'll be coming back to these rooms later. Neuroscientists often use brain scanning techniques like functional magnetic resonance imaging to see which areas of the brain are active during tasks. Brain decoding looks inside these active areas to identify more subtle patterns related to particular images or ideas. A typical study would put someone in a scanner and show them a series of pictures. For each picture, the scanner records activity in the areas of the brain responsible for vision. A computer program, the decoder, is then trained to associate each picture with its pattern. To test the decoder, a new picture is presented. The scanner records the activity again. The decoder then compares the new pattern to the pattern it knows from training to figure out what type of object the person was looking at. Some groups have gone further. Jack Gallant's lab at the University of California at Berkeley measured brain activity as their subjects watched hours of movie footage. They taught a computer program to associate the clips with brain activity patterns, as before. Then, the decoder reconstructed what the subject had seen. Based on the brain activity alone, the computer sifted through lots of video clips and produced an average, here on the right, a best guess that it thought was most similar to what the subject had seen. Decoding what people see is one thing, but how about their thoughts, or even their dreams? Here's a representation of someone's dream, decoded from his or her brain activity. It's from Yukiasu Kamatani's lab in Kyoto, Japan. His team got people to fall asleep in a brain scanner, and then woke them up periodically and asked them what they were dreaming about. They noted down the most popular categories of object appearing in the dreams. They showed the same participants pictures of these objects when they were awake and scanned their brains again. Then they could tell what was appearing in the dreams, producing depictions like this, which make about as much sense as dreams usually do. Now back to those pretend crime scenes. Could brain decoding one day be used to extract secret thoughts or detect lies? John Dylan Haynes and his team, based in Germany, had participants walk around several of these virtual reality rooms. Nicely decorated, aren't they? Then in the scanner they showed people more rooms, ones they'd walked around before, and new ones. Using decoding methods, they were able to tell with about 80% accuracy whether a participant had seen the room before. Of course, this kit isn't ready for the courtroom just yet. What if they'd been in the house but the day before or after the crime? What if they learned to disguise the fact that they're lying? All challenges that decoders will need to consider. And anyway, says Haynes, there's a cheaper and quicker way right now to find out what someone is thinking. Just ask them.